Never said I'm perfect, so be easy. Said it would be worth it, not be easy. Shorty go too hard, told her take it easy. Hey you guys, welcome back for another video, but if you are new here, hi, my name is Kendra, I am a zero-based cash budgeter, I budget on a monthly and a weekly basis, I budget every single week because I get paid every single week. I also love to do savings challenges, DIYs, and unboxings, so if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, please consider becoming a subscriber, I would love to have you here, hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a video, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and leave a comment below. I would love to communicate with you. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so in this video, we are making sure we are paying off our debt. All right, so I think people kind of get it confused when you say zero-based budgeter that you do, or a zero-based cash budgeter that you don't use your card, which is completely opposite from what I do or not i wouldn't say completely opposite but i do use my cards so i do budget my cash and then if i do happen to swipe my card say i swipe my card on 60 dollars worth of groceries all i do is take the cash out of my wallet and put it towards debt which is still me you know using the cash that i budgeted for the groceries so all I do is spend the amount that I budgeted. I don't go over from swiping the card. I just swipe. If I do end up swiping my card, I just swipe, you know, within my budget. And I make sure I pay it back with my cash. So, let's go ahead. I already have my um, uh, Capital One app open. So, I'm glad I was able to check back real quick because I did go out to eat to Texas Roadhouse and I never took the money out, which is $93.05. So I probably will just round that up to $94, even though it's only five cents. Uh, it'll just help me get to the amount that I need to pay back my debt. So I'll take $94 from um, Texas Roadhouse. And then I think, because I did buy some drinks, um, I don't think I paid that back. So I'll probably just take that from my spending money and um, that'll be, it's 56.48. So I'll just round it to 57. Then after I take the cash from these two, we'll see how much we need afterwards. So I have my dining out wallet or envelope in my wallet so we're going to take that out and in dining out I should have 180 so let's see we have 20 40 60 80 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 so we have 180 and I have to subtract 94 so that is 20 40 60 80 90 um, I'm gonna do a hundred and then let's see how to read 20 40 60 80 90 100 and then I'll see if uh, I'll just do a 20 I'll take $6 out of the debt envelope. I should have $6 in change. So let's see. So I have a five and a one, which is $6, which is going to go back into dining out. All right, so if I do... 180 minus 94 that gives me 86 dollars left for dining out I'll do texas roadhouse and i'm just going to put today's date so that 
this hundred is going into debt. And then this goes back in here. And then we have the 57, did I say? Yep, $57 that I'm gonna take out of my envelope. I usually, I could take it out of fun, but I'm not gonna take it out of fun. So I'm gonna do 60, so 50, 60, and then I just need $3 back. So one, two, three, So out of 120, oops, so let me make sure, okay. 120 minus 57 leaves me with $63. So minus 57 leaves me with 63. All right, let's make sure. 20, 40, 50, 60, one, two, three. All right, so let's go ahead and count it and see if I have enough in my debt envelope to pay off this debt. And I need to hurry up because time is ticking. So I need $1,897. I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget just in case my screen goes out. $1,897. I'm gonna use my calculator to help me count. And then we're going to get this money together. 50. Should be all 20s, I think. All right, so let's see how much we have here. I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850. So 850. Let me use some of this. I always forget to use this and my hands be needing it. My fingers be needing it. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-four, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-six, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-seven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-eight. Let me make sure I count it this right. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one, twenty, forty, eighty-two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-four, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-six, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-seven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-eight. Okay, eight hundred. 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 E
$135 and I'm actually going to take that. I'm just going to take it out of the savings envelope because I'm pretty sure when I went shopping for myself, I did not take it out. I don't think. I don't think I did. So I'm just going to take it from the savings. The savings challenge. So 135, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. 135, that leaves me with 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. $15 in my savings challenge. So we have $15 left now in the savings challenge. And now, if I count this again, we should have $1,897. Okay, I'm going to split this. Okay, so we have 100 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80. 5, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 8, 80. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. $1,897, which is exactly what I needed. So let's see. $1,896.68. So I just rounded it up to 97. And now I can go to the bank, deposit this, and make my payment today because it is due. I don't know if you guys can see that it is due today by 8 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and make this deposit. That is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider becoming a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.